Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and the Houston Rockets are shocking the NBA right now. The Houston Rockets are at 8-6 and six right now. They've won two games in a row, and before this two-game winning streak, they were on a three-game losing streak. Before, but before that three-game losing streak, may I remind you, all three road games against all three very good teams, the Lakers, the Clippers, and the Warriors, and the Rockets lost all three of those games. But before that three-game losing streak, the Rockets were on a six-game winning streak. So the Rockets have won eight of their last 11 games currently and are playing great basketball. And they just beat the NBA champs for the second time this season last night, 105-86 to in the NBA in-season tournament. Alperen Sengun is leading this team excellent right now, playing great basketball, averaging nearly a double-double and every night he looks like he's in contention to get the get a triple double for the Houston Rockets. He's averaging 20.2 points per game with 9.1 rebounds per game, 6 assists per game, 1 steal per game, and almost 1 block per game at 0.8. Right now, he is playing like an all-star for the Houston Rockets. And with the Rockets being a surprise, they're a top seven team in the Western Conference, which last team, they're bottom, right at the bottom at number 15, worst record in the NBA. I think he should be an all-star currently for the for the Houston Rockets. I really do think I really do think he should be an all-star for the Rockets. Uh right now I think he should. But the rest of this team has been playing really good too. I mean, Jalen, he's he's been inefficient sometimes, but He's averaging nearly 20 points per game with 19.6 points per game. He's averaging five rebounds per game with three assists per game. And, you know, he's even though Fred is the point guard for the Rockets, Fred Van Vliet, Jalen Green has played a little point guard this season, and he's done a good job earning this offense. I've been surprised with that. Fred Van Vliet, on the other end, is averaging 17 points per game, uh, is averaging four rebounds per game, and is averaging nine assists per game, which is... Like top ten, I think it's like top six or top seven in the NBA of all players. Fred VanVleet is playing great basketball for the Rockets. Dylan Brooks has been the Rockets' best defensive player right now, and he's averaging thirteen and a half points per game with four rebounds per game, two assists per game, one point one steals per game, and the impact he is making for this Houston Rockets defense has been excellent. On the other end, Jabari Smith Jr. right now is one of the hottest players of the Houston Rockets right now. In the last three games. Uh, he in the last three games he has, I think it is fifty four points, and it's fifty. He's aver he's he's averaging right now. I think I can't remember last night he had fifteen and sixteen. I think in the last three games he has in the last the last three games he has fifty points. And keep in mind this is as the f like the fourth option on the team has fifty points in the last three games and has I believe like. 32 or 33, something like that, rebounds in the last three games. So he's playing great basketball for the Rockets right now in the last three games. And I think a big reason because of that is because the before Jabari Smith Jr. got hot against the Lake, so the against the Laker or was it yeah the Lakers game, the Rockets lost 105 to 104 in Los Angeles against the Lakers, and Jamari, Jabari Smith Jr. was playing terrible basketball. He was having a bad night defensively and offensively. So in the fourth quarter in a close game, Ime Adoka benched him. And ever since, in the last couple of games, I'll go over his stats. Uh, Jabari against the Warriors in the loss, on a, on a loss on Monday, I believe he had 17-9. and nine. And then in their win over the Grizzlies on uh, Wednesday, he had an unbelievable game. He had like 18 points, 9 rebounds, shot ten, 6 for 10, and 3 for 4 from 3, and was doing a great job defensively. Had his best game of the season. And then last night, he had 15 and 16, shot 2 for 3 from 3, and had a, had a really good shooting night and did some good things defensively. Jabari, in the last three games, have has flipped the switch. He's averaging 13 points per game at 13.2. He's averaging 8 rebounds per game with 1 steal per game and 1 block per game. Well, Tari Eason is averaging seven points per game with four or six, seven points per game and six rebounds per game. And they're also doing this without a fourth overall draft pick. And Min Thompson who has been out since the fourth game of the season. He got hurt in like the second quarter of the fourth game of the season. The Rockets didn't have a win when he got hurt. So they're doing this without him. He is their best. He is the best guard off the Rockets bench. And, um, also, to, not to mention the Houston Rockets have been 
the, one of the, the best defensive team in the NBA right now. They have the best defensive, uh, the best defensive rating in the NBA right now at one hundred six point eight or defensive net rating. And uh, I just wanted to go over some stats that they're that they're you know currently in right now. Team team stats. Uh, they are in the bottom of the NBA with points per game at one hundred nine point six, which is right now twenty fifth. I think twenty fifth place. Um, and then. But it's the opponent stats. The opponents, their 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 opponents' points per game, they're at number one at one hundred four point four. Uh, their their opponents, I mean, like field goal percentage, right now they're number three with their their opponents' field goal percentage is at number three in the NBA at forty three point seven percent. So their defense, the way they're playing right now, is unbelievable. And they have the fifth best def- different def- differential in the NBA right now at five point plus five point two, and most of their most out of most of their differential stats, most of them are pluses. And uh, they're playing great team basketball from three. They're they're top fifteen three point shooting team in the NBA right now. They're playing great team basketball. They're playing great defense. Their whole team is you. There's not. There's only a couple players on this team who have not been playing good defense. And some of those players that 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 have not been playing good defense, sometimes they are. Like Jalen Green, he's a terrible defender. But last night he had three steals for the Rockets. There's sometimes where he's playing terrible defense, but there's also sometimes he's playing really good defense for the Rockets. So there are some players on this team who not all the time play great defense, but sometimes they do. There's there's this team is built of good defenders, and Jalen Green is really the only guy on this team that's really not a good defender. Uh, but yeah, this team is fun to watch. I think they're surprising a lot of people right now at eight and six. They're playing great defense. Their opponent stats are some of the best stats in the NBA right now. Number one on a lot of those stats, and if not number, and, and, and if not that top five, their differential stats are amazing. Uh, their team stats are amazing as well. And as a team, they're playing really good basketball right now, and it's fun to watch. And not 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 just saying this because I'm a Rockets fan. If you have, if you're not watching the Rockets, if you're not paying attention to the Rockets, you should because they're playing some really good basketball right now. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me your thoughts in the comment section and peace out. Go Rockets.